Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your study. Today's chemistry lesson is about identifying iron and gases. Before I proceed further, please subscribe to June Study Lab channel yet because in this channel we provide many free lectures. Before further ado, let's look into what we have in our study outline. In our study outline comprises of test for metal cation using sodium hydroxide or ammonia, test and result for some cations, additional information about tests for cations, tests for ammonia ions, flame tests for metal cations, and finally we have tests for iron and identifying gases. Test for metal cation using sodium hydroxide or ammonia. Many metal cations can be identified by observing the color of the precipitate formed by the additions of dilute aqua sodium hydroxide to an aqua solution of the substance under test. If the solution hydroxide is not in excess or precipitate of a metal hydroxide, it is usually formed in excess sodium hydroxide, some of the precipitate, precipitate may dissolve example precipitate arising from solution containing Zn3 positive, Al3 positive and Cr3 positive ions. Across ammonia contain hydroxide ion. In addition of across ammonia, most of the observations are similar to those observed with aqua sodium hydroxide. Example, precipitates arising from solution containing Zn3 positive and Cu3 positive ions dissolve in excess aqua ammonia. Test and result for some cation. Example, cation test in aqua solution aluminium Al3 positive. Add a few drops of aqua sodium hydroxide to the solution under test. Then add excess white precipitate excess dissolved to form colorless solution. Add a few drops of aqueous ammonia to the solution under test. Then add excess. This become white precipitate. Excess insoluble white precipitate will remain. For the cation test in aqua solution for the calcium CA3 positive, when we add a few drops of aqua sodium hydroxide, to the solution and the test, then add excess white precipitate, excess insoluble white precipitate will remain. And when we add a few drops of aqua ammonia to the solution and the test, then add excess, there will be no precipitate or very slight white precipitate. For the chromium 3 CR3 positive, and when we add a few drops of aqua sodium hydroxide, to the solution and the test, then add excess green precipitate, excess form greenish solution. And when we add a few drops of aqua ammonia to the solution and the test, then add excess become gray green precipitate, excess insoluble gray green precipitate will remain. And for the copper 2 CO3 positive, when we add a few drops of aqua sodium hydroxide to the solution and the test, then add excess, it becomes light blue precipitate. Excess insoluble light blue precipitate will remain. And at the same time, when we add a few drops of aqua ammonia to the solution and the test, then add excess, it becomes light blue precipitate. Excess dissolved to form a dark blue solution. And we have iron 2 Fe3 positive in the form of aqua solution. And when we add a few drops of aqua solution hydroxide to the solution and the test, then add excess it become green precipitate, excess insoluble green precipitate remain. And when we add a few drops of aqua ammonia to the solution and the test, then add excess it become green precipitate, excess insoluble green precipitate will remain. For the iron 3 Fe3 positive, when we add a few drops of aqua sodium hydroxide to the solution and the test, then add excess, it becomes 
Re brown precipitate SS and so we do red brown precipitate and we remain. When we add a few drops of aqua ammonia to the solution and then test, then add SS to become red brown precipitate SS and so we do red brown precipitate will remain. For the zinc, ZN3 positive. So when we add a few drops of aqua solution hydroxide to the solution and then test, then add SS. What precipitate as a result to form canola solution. And finally, on the other hand, when we add a few drops of aqua ammonia to the solution of the test, then FSS will become white precipitate as a result to form colorless solution. And so the information about test for cation. If a precipitate is formed on addition of aqua sodium hydroxide or ammonia, the iron insoluble in water will become ZnCl2 plus 2 FaOH. It will become ZnOH2 plus H2O. Ca2 positive ions can be distinguished from Zn2 positive and Al3 positive ions. Because the possibility of calcium hydroxide does not dissolve in excess of the hydroxide, but zinc hydroxide and aluminum hydroxide do dissolve. Zinc, Zn3 positive ions can be distinguished from aluminum, which is Al3 positive ion, by the use of aqua ammonia. Zinc hydroxide dissolves in excess aqua ammonia to form a colorless solution, but aluminum hydroxide does not dissolve. The hydroxides of most transition metal ions can be identified by their characteristic color. Tips. When conducting the test for Fe2 ions, you must, you must observe the color of the precipitate straight away. If you leave the iron 2 hydroxide precipitate in the air for too long, it will oxidize to iron 2 hydroxide. Test for ammonia ion. An aqua solution containing ammonia ion is warm. Ammonia gas is produced when warm, and ammonia gas turns them red, litmus blue. Flame test for metal cation. Flame test is a test for particular metal ions by heating a sample of a compound containing the, the iron in a blue Bunsen flame. Characteristic color are produced. A small sample of compound under test is placed on the top of a wire made from an unreactive metal such as Nichrome or platinum. The compound under test is placed at the edge of a blue Bunsen flame. The color given to the flame by the compound is observed. The heat can be used to identify the ions of elements in group 2 and transition metal ions. So, metal ion is a color flame, lithium. L positive will become red, sodium N positive will become yellow, potassium K positive will become lilac, and copper Cu2 positive will become blue green. Test for onions. Onions under test carbonate CO3 to negative upper solution or solid. And when we add a dilute acid and test the gas given off, and the result will be. Effervescence, gas produced in lime water milky. And onion under test like chloride, Cl negative, in a form of aqua solution. When we test SCD5 with dilute nitric acid, then add aquas silver nitrate, and the result will become white precipitate. And for the onion under test bromide, in a form of aqua solution, and it becomes the acidify with dilute nitric acid, then add a positive nitric. And as a result from this test detail, it will become cream precipitate. Like iodide, I negative in the form of aqua solution. We test for acidify with dilute nitric acid, then add a positive nitric. And as a result, it will form yellow precipitate. And for Onion under test nitrate and O3 negative in a form of aqua solution. And when we add aqua sodium hydroxide and aluminum foil, then warm gently and test the gas given off. 
The result is gas given off as pungent smell and turn red litmus blue. And whereas for sulfate as a whole, the negative, when we test for acidify with dilute nitric acid, then add a coarse barium nitrite, the result will be white precipitate. And finally, when we have sulfate as a 4 3 negative, and the test is for add dilute acid, then warm gently and test the gas given off, the result will be gas given off, turn acidify, a coarse potassium manganate, colorless. Identifying gases like gases ammonia. Test for gases is damp with litmus paper and the result will be turned litmus blue. Carbon dioxide. Test for gases, you use lime water and the result will turn lime water milky. For chlorine, we use test for gases using damp litmus paper and the result will be bleaches litmus. And for hydrogen, when we test for gases using lighted splint, the result will give a sneaky pop sound. And for the gases, oxygen, test for gases, we use a glowing splint, and the result will be relight the splint. For the sulfur dioxide, SO2, and test for gases, we use acidify aquas potassium manganate 7, and the result will turn acidify aqua potassium manganate from purple to colorless. With that being said, hope you all understand the topic presented earlier. Wish you all the best in your study. Last but not least, please subscribe to Jom Study Learn YouTube channel and follow me at Jom Study Learn Instagram. You can get customized note by accessing the beacon speech via Instagram link. Thank you very much.